This Black Rats podcast reporting to you live with another one. Yeah, you already know what it is, man. Man, shout out to Sweet, man. Happy birthday, girl. Happy birthday. But today, who may be speaking with? My name is Dean. Um, I'm the half owner of uh, Celebrity 360. We do. Uh, That's what I'm talking about. Machines <laughs> and uh, and we do selfie boots. Okay. So you can catch us at celebrity360.net. Um, we pretty much we deal with Snoop and uh, Two Chains a lot. We usually do their events at, um, at Esco or wherever they mm. want us to come. Yeah, most definitely. I ain't even gonna lie, man. You know, um, like I was mentioning earlier, you know, uh, rest in power to Clay. Everybody could have been there, you know what I'm saying, celebrating everything, but they out here, you know, and I see you politicking and working for real, for real. Yeah. What made you get into this, in, in this game for real? Man, that's a good question. Um, when my wife and I got married, we were looking to do a 360. <laughs> and every time we, um, every time we went to get prices, we felt like we was getting ripped off. Okay. And we didn't want to be in a position, we want to put ourselves in a position where people, if people wanted a 360 booth, that they wouldn't feel like they was getting ripped off. Yeah, know? facts though. So that's what we do. You know, we, we do this, uh, we retired. So we not really stressing money. We just work with people mm. to make whatever events that they trying to do special, you know? Yeah, facts though, really like catering out to the people for real, for real. Most definitely like, um, but like what was like first starting out? You know, everybody had that story of, you know, coming up having, you know, um, because you guys are a lot of people that's probably following your footsteps, mm -hmm. want to do some of them things. Right. Like, what, what's one of the things of business that if you knew then what you knew now, it probably would have propelled you further? Man, uh, I'm actually, I'm still learning, man. You know oh, God. Um, I can't really say I think like, or if I wish I would have known that. I, I love the mistakes because they're lessons, you know what I mean? You're right. They're, they're, they're actual lessons, so every time I do something incorrectly or I come across something, I'm not so upset that it happened. You know, I'm, I'm, I love the lesson. Facts, so. And how did it feel having the opportunity, like you said, to uh, be able to work with guys like 2 Chains and, and Snoop and everything like that and other different celebrities that, that, that come out and call for you? I really appreciate, you know, um, because really they can go with, with anybody, you know, but I try to, you know, if you look at my work, you see I, I put a, I put extra into it, you know. Most definitely. And I don't like try to nickel and dime nobody. I do because this, the work represents me, you know, it represents me and my wife's business. So I pour into it. So, you know, no matter what the pay is, you're going to get the same product every time from me. It's going to be top of the line as best as I can do. I don't nickel and dime nobody. I don't shortchange nobody. Most definitely. And, um, one thing I say about your setup is real welcoming. Mm -hmm. Y'all very professional, clean. Um, I even like how y'all have like y'all laptops and everything out as well. You know what I'm saying? You rarely see that. You might see the 360 machine, mm -hmm. but y'all most definitely going all out. And I employ anybody in the Atlanta area, outside of Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, all over. Matter of fact, do y'all ship out? Like, say if somebody wanted to book y'all in California, would y'all step out of town, you know what I'm saying, and, and send something out there, or y'all just dealing with Atlanta, Georgia? Uh, we really just be in, we in Atlanta, kind of, you know, or in the Atlanta area, you know, okay. surrounding area. Most definitely, and I see you got the New York going, you feel me? Like, what, what inspires you to migrate out here? Man, uh, to be honest, when I was coming up in New York, man, stuff was not good, you know. Oh God! And I didn't see, um, I didn't see a positive future for myself. And I took a chance with Atlanta. I took a chance in '98 with Atlanta, man. That was the best move I ever made. Yeah. I came down here, man. I feel like the things I've, I've done here, I wouldn't have been able to do in New York. Right. And I'm like, Atlanta's a blessing for me, man. You'll never hear me bad talk, Atlanta. I right. love Atlanta. I'm from New York. I love Atlanta, man. Thanks, though. And how did it feel like when you gave yourself that chance? You know what I'm saying? When you pulled it all on yourself, you say, you know what? This is what I'm going to do for me. I ain't worried about what nobody else going to say. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to follow the path that God set for me. How was that feel? Scary. Because to step out and not know nothing is scary. But, man, that's one of the best things I ever did, man. It's one of the best moves I ever made for myself. Thanks, though. Sometimes, you know, you got to step out. You know, I was trapped in a, in a bad situation, and I know a lot of people like me, you know what I mean? I know there's a lot of people that's out there in a bad, stuck somewhere. Step out, man, step out. You know, you know you're in a hood, and 
you trapped in, you're not doing good for yourself here, and step out. Go somewhere else where you could reinvent yourself. Thanks, though. And if you could give your 13-year-old self some words of advice, what would that be? Man, I would say when people say you can be anything you want to be, <laughs> that's not just a saying. It's the truth. You really can be anything you want to be. Facts. Anything. Just do it. Yeah, man, most definitely, man. And if you can thank God for anything, what would that be? Woo. My kids and my wife, man. Like, I thank God for my wife. The hang so. Thank God for my kids, man. My wife is, man, she's everything to me. So, man, if you got a good one, treat her good, man. Invest in your wife, bro. <laughs> Invest in her. Most definitely, yeah. man. And I appreciate you, man. You already know what it is, man. We got the 360, you know what I'm saying? Celebrity, you know what I'm saying? You know, in the building, appreciate you, King. May, you know, may God, you know, bless you with everything good in this life and everything in between all that, man. Yeah. Keep on grinding hard, man. You know, shout out to 2 Chains, man. Shout we in the building, man. You already know what it is. This Alrighty, in this Black Grass podcast, reporting to you live with another one. And we gone. Peace.